All right, we are outside of the Ralph Stanley Museum now, and as promised, we are going to give you guys a look around. Yeah, and if we're lucky, keep your fingers crossed. Cross them. Okay, I'll see your current fingers crossed. Uh, hopefully, Dora Wallace will be here to do to be working at the museum, and she is the wife of Sean Wallace, the illustrator of the book, Petey the Pink Tail Puzzle. Have we mentioned that yet? Yes, okay. a few times. But anyway, Dora is fantastic, so I'm praying that she's in here that can show us around because she is a passionate supporter of Clover. Well, I will be anxious to meet her if she is. Well, let's, let's get in here check it out. Look at that beautiful house, the beautiful stained glass. Oh yeah, you can hear the music welcoming you as you come in. Oh so. yeah, and those old barn quilts. I love that one with the bee on it. That's really neat. Awfully regal up there. Oh, it's it? so pretty. I love that same glass. Yeah, this is great. I'm excited to go in here and check it out. I know. Let's go. Dark. It's actually known as a, the, it's known as the Chase House. It was the first brick house in Dickinson County. It was okay. built in the early 1900s. So that's pretty amazing to say you're standing in the first brick house in Dickinson County. Yeah. This is what it looked like before it was the Ralph Stanley Museum. It's went through quite a few different phases. Most recently, it was the Miller Funeral Home. Carter Stanley actually was prepared here. Yeah. This area that you're standing in right here was R.C. Miller's office. Over there in our gift shop was the original chapel. They would put the bodies in front of that big stained glass window that's there. Wow. They prepared the bodies in the chapel area that you all go back to in a minute. Um, and Carter Stanley was actually prepared here. His funeral was at Irvington High School. Wow. So that's kind of a rundown of the Chase House. You'll watch a little bit about the Crooked Road, Virginia's Heritage Music Trail. The Ralph Stanley Museum is actually the last stop on the Heritage Music Trail, but if you're here first, you're on the first stop. Okay. And what I tell people. You get started, and something that the museum really likes to pay homage to and teach people about, because this is not only called the Ralph Stanley Museum, it's called and Traditional Mountain Music Center. Mm -hmm. So we really like to promote our history and heritage called Dickinson County Sound and how Ralph developed his high, lonesome sound. Everybody who knows Ralph's music will know high, lonesome sound. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we talk a lot about our European and African descendants, but you will hear a lot about the primitive Baptist background. That's where, where Ralph really got his start in music. He said he didn't much care about the preaching as much as he did about the singing. So when he sings, yeah. he has that primitive yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Which, when you're familiar with the primitive Baptist, you you know that sound. Yeah. So that's really where he developed it from. Ralph Stanley's very first banjo was made from possum skin. Oh, wow. Which is very interesting. There's yeah. actually a possum skin banjo up there. Um, his first banjo came from his aunt Roxy. He yeah. bought it for five dollars. Mm -hmm. He said uh, he had an option between buying a pig from her or buying the banjo. And he said the banjo was more appealing, even though he always loved pigs. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've seen a lot of Oh Brother Where Art Thou stuff right back here. Yes, love that movie and that music. And the music is thanks to Dr. Roxy. That's right. You want to sing a few bars for us? Yeah. So they got several awards and all kinds of things back here on yes. display. Man of Constant Sorrow. I love that movie though, don't you? I, I mean, love it. Yes, it's so I'm good. due to watch it again. It's been a couple years. My babysitter, who's just like a grandma to me, she absolutely loved my brother. Is she? Yeah. I don't know anybody that doesn't like it. You know anybody that's ever watched it? It's just. Yeah. It seems like everybody who's watching it for it not to be the yeah. biggest selling movie of all time. Okay. Kind of seems set up like a church or type yeah. of thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's move around and take a lot of looks. Right? Yeah, very nice to move around. But you want to see some Dapper Dan, don't you? I can't leave without zooming in on that, can we? He was just so funny in the movie about the Dapper Dan. He had to have his Dapper Dan, and you know you know men like that. No, I'm God looking at one right now. You hush your mouth. <laughs> You hush your mouth. <laughs> okay. So this section, we just went upstairs. It covers a little bit about the Stanley family to begin with. You kind of just make your way through here. Tell us a bit about... Carter family. Carter family, Monroe Brothers. Tom Ashley, Grayson Witter. 
picked them out. That's funny. We both said Carter family and then skipped out to Monroe Brothers. It's not like it was in order. <laughs> I guess it's that old Go Monroe. Yeah. Yeah. Some really cool memorabilia here. And then you got a couple of different sections. So they got one for the Stanley brothers, which of course was Ralph and Carter when they were together. And Carter yeah. passed away when he was younger. Yeah. And so they have another section for just Ralph. I think it was cool that that over there said by the 20s people could buy records, radios, and music instruments from Sears and Roebuck and uh, Montgomery Ward, but most people in Appalachia just didn't have the money and they would make homemade banjos and oh, yeah. instruments to play. Yeah. And that's a big deal now, they get passed on down through the families. Oh, can you imagine how priceless that would be for your family if you had yeah. an old homemade Musical instrument. Possum skin banjo. Possum like skin banjo. Like Bob Ralph Stanley, exactly. <laughs> so this is the Stanley Brothers section, and they got a tuxedo shirt and tie worn by Carter Stanley. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a suit jacket worn by Ralph Stanley. And of course, this guitar that was given to Ralph Stanley by a fan said he purchased it from Carter. People call it banjo. Banjo, yeah. Little thing about Reno and Smiley, Flatten Scruggs, and Bill Monroe. I don't think I realized that Kitty Wills was the first woman to have a number one record. I didn't know that either. On the country charts. I don't know that. And the first woman to ever sell a million records. I wonder That's if that was cool. the song Honky Tonk Angel. It wasn't God that made Hong Kong Honky Tonk Angels. <laughs> yeah. Baby. There's Marty, uh, Marty Robbins. This is such a nice museum. It really is, yeah. It's a lot more unexpected than you. I mean, it looked nice from the outside, too, but. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Just never know what you get into. See, Carter Stanley died, but he was just 41 years old, so. Yeah. 40 or 41. We got a nice. A lot of nice little museums in uh, Southwest Virginia. I know, and I'm, I'm loving that we're checking these out. Yeah, me too. Because a lot of times you pass by and you think, you know, for whatever reason you don't stop. Yeah. But by this has been a godsend here, hasn't it? Yeah. I've never been to it before, and I worked here when it was open. I was like, I just didn't have a chance. I didn't, didn't have time in my mind. You and worked I, at the museum? No, I didn't work at the museum. But oh. I, I, when I worked in Clintwood, I, yeah. I did not get to see this. Let's go to the Ralph Stanley section. That kind of singing. <laughs> yeah, this is really, really nice. Do you hear some of their old suits there? Well, it's like Dora said too. It's not just about Ralph Stanley. It's about mountain music, which I like too. Exactly. Yeah. Because they got a little bit about Keith Whitley and Ricky Skaggs. You got Larry Sparks little section here, and just a lot of things that yeah. talk about mountain music. It's Keith Whitley, Ricky Skaggs. Clinch Mountain Boys. Pretty cool, right? Oh, yeah. 
Good old Clinch Mountain. I've been on that a few times. And there's some instruments. You want to tell us some about those? Well, it looks like we got us a banjo. A banjo. A banjo. A guitar belonging to Clinch Mountain boy James Shelton. We got a fiddle. Mandolin. And that is Nathan. So Nathan, he still performs. This is that's uh, Ralph's grandson. Mm -hmm. So he carries on the Stanley name and tradition. So that was his. There. All right. So some of these things here. There's an award for Ralph Stanley, Patty Loveless for Pretty Polly from mm -hmm. back in 1999. And then we've got there. a letter that Dwight Yoakam wrote congratulating Ralph on his Grammy nomination. How cool is yeah. that? I'm a big fan of Dwight Yoakam, weren't you? We actually saw him together, didn't we? We did at Rhythm and Race a few years ago. Sure did. So, yeah, they have a lot of things, interesting awards and yeah, absolutely. Yeah. More about Ricky Skaggs, Keith Whitley. And there, it doesn't get any bigger than that right there, does it? There's a Grammy. I know, how cool it's is that? A real, that? true, live Grammy in the flesh. Mm. For Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Yes. Is that not the coolest thing ever? Still one of the best, most best-selling albums there, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? And I know what you'll be impressed with is that he was on a Pepsi can. I know, I love that. That's so cool. Okay.